Okay guys, so um, this is a very quick video regarding a incident that I had um, where I had a little tumble. And you'll have heard me mention this on my previous video about the safety equipment where I mentioned wearing a full face helmet and safety jeans and jacket. And um, I thought I'd break it down for you, okay? So what happened was the day after doing my CBT, day one of my scootering career, if you like, um, I came out, my scooter was ready to go, so I came out for a ride and uh, came up this road. So what we're going to do, because I'm still having problems with the camera here, uh, with the audio, the external mic, I'm doing this voiceover afterwards and I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to show you exactly what happened and if it stops one other new rider making the same mistake, it's got to be uh, got to be worth sharing. Okay, so just bear with me. We're heading up this road. This is coming from Whaley Bridge in Derbyshire over towards Chapel on the Frith. So if you're local, you might know the road. And what happened was we pulled into a lay-by just around this corner. So just bear with me till we'll get to the lay-by. And I'm going to break it down and tell you um, how it went down. Okay. Now, this was one day after my CBT. I was wearing a full-face helmet that I'd borrowed off somebody else because I hadn't yet bought my own helmet because the shops were shut because of lockdown and I couldn't try one on. So... I was wearing a full face helmet and at this time, at this moment in time, I was convinced I was going to purchase an open face helmet. But this incident changed my mind. OK. And um, you'll see why in a minute. We're just going to get around this corner. We're going to pull into a lay by and then I'm going to break it down for you step by step. And then the other thing as well, on this on this first day of riding, I had my partner, uh, Vicky. She was behind me in the camper van. I thought it'd be a good idea just to have a, you know, a chaperone behind me, if you like, just to to make sure that I was safe and didn't have any accidents or incidents or, you know, was there in case I did have any accidents or incidents. Now, just around this corner, here's the lay-by and we pull into the lay-by and I'm going to show you exactly what happened, okay? So this is where I pulled in and she was behind me in the van. I put the bike on its kickstand, got off, we had a chat told her you know that the scooter felt great and i felt safe and confident um and we just had a little coffee and then set off again now well oh there she is look she's in the van there give her a wave let's give her a wave okay she's following me again today for this this breakdown to make it authentic and yeah got back on the scooter now what's the first thing that they teach you um when you're doing your cbt they teach you that when you're setting off on these automatic scooters you cover the back brake, you give it a little bit of acceleration, you let the bike start pulling forwards, and then you gradually release the back brake. So that's what they taught me on my CBT. What mistake did I make here? I was setting off, confident. Look at the road here. The road is a fast road. It's a national speed limit road. And the traffic comes up from behind around the bend fairly quickly. So I was thinking I had to get out onto the carriageway and a little right-handed turn to get onto the carriageway. Now, I'll be honest with you, at the time, my right-hand turns weren't too confident. I was struggling a little with the balance on the right-handed turn for some reason. Much more confident now, a few weeks on, but then it was a little precarious, shall we say. So I was trying to pick up speed, get onto the carriageway, and um, what mistake did I make? I didn't cover the back brake, okay? So I accelerated just a little, little too much, and the bike shot forward like this. Okay, the front wheel hit the curb here near the grass verge and the bike started to go forwards. The more it went forwards, the more I was trying to hang on. And because I wasn't controlling the brake, it just shot forwards out of my control. Okay, and it tumbled um, and fell towards the left-hand side. It landed on the mirror, the left-hand mirror, and the actual mirror sheared off, it snapped. There was no damage to the bike, but just here on the chrome stem, you can see... Um, the mirror just sheared off completely, okay? And I had to buy a new stem for it. The bike, fortunately, was safe. It landed on the grass. There was no scuffs, not even a scratch. So I was really lucky. Um, but I fell forwards. As the bike fell over, I fell forwards, lost my balance. Landed on my hands, fortunately, had the gloves on, and on my left knee. So I had the safety jeans on. My left knee hit the hit the grass. I've still got the mud on the knee to prove it. And... My head went forwards. My chin, the chin piece of the full face helmet that I borrowed, just skimmed the grass. Okay. Now, that was a close shave. What if I'd been going a little bit faster? 
maybe just a few miles an hour faster. What if the bike could have shot forwards into the carriageway and um, it could have been complete disaster. It could have been horrific, in fact. So I feel I was really lucky. But the chin piece just skimming the grass, at even at two or three miles an hour, you know, we can't have been doing more than four, I don't know, maybe four or five miles an hour. Um, it made me think, yep, yeah, a full face helmet for me is the way to go until I'm at least a lot more experienced, okay? And um, that's what I decided to buy. I bought a full face helmet after this straight away as soon as the shops opened but uh, thanks to Dave for lending me the full face helmet it saved me on day one and hopefully um, I won't be hitting the floor again so great learning experience glad I was safe glad I made it and um, yeah setting off now and we'll just head up the road so yeah let me know what you think let me know if it's happened to you if you've made a similar mistake if you've come off like that early on in your riding career or if you know anybody that has has your chin ever hit the floor um is it a common mistake amongst new riders i'm guessing it is cheers guys